Sup guys, Alex from Nothing Box TV here, and I have a question for you. What was your favorite NBA game that was inspired by NBA Jam and looks like it's from an episode of MTV Cribs? If you said NBA Ballers, you would be correct because I think that's the only one. So I bet you're probably thinking, wow, I didn't know you were into sports, chunk. First of all, I have these things, what are they called? They're called, oh yeah, they're called feelings. And second of all, I did play sports. In fact, I played basketball in sixth grade and our school had a tournament and my team made it to the finals. But during the finals, I had to go to a doctor's appointment and I found out I had valley <sighs> fever. How would you feel if I had died, okay? Actually, I did die and I'm haunting you until you subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I did become less interested in sports, but games like NBA Ballers kept me at least looking over and seeing what was going on. For the PS2 era, sports games thrived because EA didn't have as much of a monopoly on sports as they do now. So it allowed for games like NBA Ballers or Blitz the League or anything like that. And even EA chimed in and gave us the Street Series. What happened? Everything is so boring now. Girl. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So out of the sports game Golden Age, the reason why I went with NBA Ballers was because of its unique presentation. It was as if Midway Games was trying to appeal to the demographic of people that weren't really into sports. And it worked, because Chunk likes it. Sure, NBA Street V2 was already out, but NBA Ballers added some sort of Tony Hawk-like trick system, so not only do you have to win basketball games traditionally, you also have to win in style points as well. You could dribble, juke, dodge, and straight up break your opponent's face to get the victory royale. So gameplay-wise, this game is just a straight up touchdown. I'm sorry. So even if this game is a bit more simple than other NBA games, I still love the idea of being able to juke my opponent, fail, and then I commit goaltending because that's just my pro strat. Both games do seem to be a bit more difficult than I remember though. I could just be relearning the controls, but I don't remember being challenged as much compared to other sports games, but that's a good thing. Another fun thing about these games is the soundtracks. Both games have a hip hop soundtrack dedicated to the NBA Ballers theme. So it has original music. It's it's cool. I they, The tracks sound nice but it's all about basketball, so you're not gonna be listening to it on your phone anytime soon. At least I won't be, sorry. Not only do you get a cool soundtrack, it's officially licensed, so you get a whole slew of your favorite sports boys, and uh, here's some of my favorites. I don't know who any of these people are. Yeah, the only basketball players I know are Shaq and Tim Tebow. So yeah, for the most part, these games are pretty great. But the only thing I noticed when I was playing these games again is that Phenom didn't really add a whole lot. At least when I was playing it, it looked kind of identical minus the new features and stuff. But let me know what you thought. Was it a half-baked sequel or am I just missing the point? So the reason why I made this little short video is because I wanted to celebrate when sports games were trying to be different. I meant it when I said this was a sports game golden age. Because looking back on it now, you had way more sports games that all tried to do something a little bit different. It seems like games from the PS2 era are offering you more content than even the latest year 20 sports games can offer these days. And not only that, they're played with microtransactions. If you want to play as Michael Jordan in some mode, you gotta pay for it. I can play as Michael Jordan in any other game from the PS2 era, even in other sports. And I'm kidding about that, that's a lie. But you know what I'm saying? You get my point. I know it sucks to say, but if you wanna play a no-nonsense sports game, you probably gotta buy one from five years ago. Or you could even enjoy the PS2 classics like the Street Series and all that. So let's celebrate the classic sports games and condemn the greedy practices of today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay hashtag blessed.